Good morning. We ended yesterday um, looking at Psalms 16, Psalm 16, verse 11. Verse 11 says, In your presence, you know, it starts by, You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. In God's presence, there is pleasure. And the pleasure is as a result of what? The fullness of joy that is in his presence. Now, I like the way it starts. It says, you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. What is that telling you and I? Joy is a very important component for life. If you want to live a full life, you want to live a fulfilled life, one of the things you want to do is make sure that joy is part of your life. Look for joy. Um, we started this series on productivity by saying that one of the greatest raw material for productivity is company, association. If you have people around you, if you're in an environment, you're living a life where the people around you it could be the physical one it could be the book you're reading it could be the movie you're watching if if all of this put together is not bringing in joy or you are not being able to create joy in such environment or with these people then you want to be able to delete yes delete walk away or i would say this it might not sound right in your ears, but this is the truth. It is better to be lonely and be joyful. It's better to be alone and be joyful than to be in the company of a thousand and be sad. Why? It affects your productivity. The word of God says, what will it profit a man? If you gain the whole world and lose your soul. If you are in, in a situation where your soul is not joyful, your spirit man is not joyful, you're, you're, you're always looking for uh, reasons to maybe even lie, excuse yourself, just so you can be among that group or those people or to watch those movies you know you should not be watching or doing things that you know wouldn't bring joy. You're in the wrong company. You have to stop and make a decision. Now, in Papa God's presence, there is fullness of joy. And because of that joy, there is pleasure forevermore. What will it profit a man, like we said, to gain the whole world and then lose his soul? If you will be able to be alive and be productive, you want to do what? Be joyful. Now, it does not end there. Joy goes even further because it's a lubricant. Joy will even affect the other raw materials of your life. Joy will affect your, your, your prayer life. A joyful person will be able to talk with God at any time, anywhere. Joy will affect uh, um, even the company that you keep. People don't like to be around grumpy people. You, If you really value your life, you don't want to be around people who are not joyful. So what are we saying here? Joy is so important. It's so important to the point where you have to understand that it does not only affect your productivity, but it affects all the other raw materials for productivity activity which we've seen so far so today pause and think what will it profit you to gain all the friends that you have to gain all the company that you have to to be able to just be who you you, you want to be without joy what will it profit you there's no profit in it but if you choose to be joyful instead, if you pick joy over wrong company, if you pick joy over being grumpy, if you select joy, uh, if you choose joy um, instead of being uh, um, sad, what will happen is you will ensure your productivity. You will watch your productivity coming. You will see how your life will be even more fruitful than when you're sad. Select joy out of every other uh, uh, emotion that might want to come. Select joy out of every other uh, condition 
that you might want to choose to be in, no matter what the condition is, no matter what the situation is, select joy. Because even in God's presence, there is fullness of joy. Make your presence be a presence of joy. Make it in such a way that everyone that comes around you uh, be affected by your joy. Let your joy be contagious. Let your joy be um, replicable. Right. Let people be able to see how joyful you are and choose to be joyful. Um, today is a joyful day. That's what we're going to do. And as you're joyful, I want you to sing a joyful song. It, it doesn't matter how it sounds in somebody else's ears. It's your joyful song and it sounds good to your daddy. Sing a joyful song to the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.